If you use FL Studio, you've probably been mad at least once or twice about the fact that you only have 10 slots in each mixer track to add effects. In this video, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can add more effects. When I go to organize my projects, I put the beat on track one and then all of my vocals on the following tracks until I need to start messing with other elements. But if you have an effect that's gonna end up on every single layer, say a certain EQ or maybe delay and reverb, which most people put at the end of their chain no matter what, I recommend that you just scroll to an unrealistically high number track, like 50. Like I don't think you're ever gonna hit 50 layers unless you're insane. Right click on this. Down here, you can go to dock to and then click on right. So over here, you'll have a layer where you put all those effects that you know are gonna go on every single layer. It's gonna be much easier to organize if you just put all the effects that are at the end of every chain. But let's say you have some vocals here on track two. It's already going out to the master and then track 50 is also going out to the master. So basically all we're gonna do is route every track that has vocals on it through track 50 and then back to the master. So let's say there's some vocals on track two. You're just gonna click right here, unlink it from the master. Then while you're selected on track two, you're gonna right click this arrow on track 50, then go route to this track. So everything on this track is going through to 50 and then it's starting from the top again, going through 50 and then back out to the master. You can do this with plenty of tracks. So say you have a certain mix at the end of each ad lib layer, you can do another track like 51, pin it to the right and then repeat the process. So that's one way you can do it right within the program stock plugins only. But if you use Waves plugins, there's a much cleaner and easier way to do so. And it's through a free plugin from Waves called Studio Rack. Sadly, you can't use the Fruity plugins through this app, but you can use all of the Waves plugins. So if you already have a bunch that you throw into your chain anyway, this will keep everything much more organized. You just go to a track, add Studio Rack to it. And this is basically what it looks like. So instead of three plugins taking up three slots in your channel, you can have one Studio Rack plugin with like four or five plugins in a row. So yeah, this is super duper helpful, especially if you're doing all of your mixing in this program. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. I know it's a short and simple video, but I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Anyway, get ship 27. Yeah.